Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and welcome back to our latest request of a foreign power attacking the American coast. The request from you guys was, can we have a combined Russian and Chinese attack on the Norfolk naval base in Virginia? Well, let's give it a go. First, what have we done before? We've had Russia attacking the east coast, a target in Boston, and to be honest, they failed miserably. Then... The Chinese attacked the west coast, the naval port at San Diego, and they actually came real, real close to getting their supersonic missiles on target, but they failed. So now it's a combined strike, a huge strike of everything Russia and China have together. First, the target today is the east coast naval station Norfolk. If we zoom in, we will see it's a massive naval base with supercarriers, We've got Arleigh Burks here. We've got some Tycos here. We'll go through it in more detail in a minute. But that is the targets for the Chinese and the Russians. Today's research done by our friend Combat Ineffective. Please see his YouTube channel linked in the video description. You get to see videos of him doing the research for us. Target Norfolk. China-Russia joint attack. We're going to look at the American bases that could respond in time in order of proximity to Norfolk Naval Base. Closest is NAS Oceana, 8.5 miles away. First carrier wing, three squadrons, two FA-18F squadrons and one FA-18E squadron, each 18 aircraft. Second carrier wing, one FA-18F squadron and three FA-18E squadrons. 18 aircraft per squadron and station strike fighter wing atlantic one squadron fa-18 ef 24 aircraft total at oceana 150 super hornets next closest langley air force base 20 miles three f-22 raptor squadrons each 18 aircraft total 54 raptors next 134 miles away andrews at andrews we have two F-16CD squadrons, each with 18 aircraft, total 36 F-16s. Next, MCAS Cherry Point, 140 miles away. Three AV-8B Harrier squadrons, 18 aircraft per squadron, 54 aircraft in total. Next, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, 143 miles away. Five Strike Eagle squadrons, total 90 F-15Es. Next, Atlantic City ANGB, two F-16 squadrons, each 18 aircraft, total 36 aircraft, 198 miles away. Next, Shaw Air Force Base, 313 nautical miles away, three F-16C squadrons, each 18, total 54 F-16s. And finally, of the air bases within our catchment, McIntyre JNGB, 330 miles away, two F-16 squadrons, 18 aircraft, total 36 aircraft today we're going to model all of those aircraft including flight times and fuel considerations overview map norfolk is about there langley oceana andrews atlantic city cherry point seymour johnson shaw and mcintyre what ships are kept at norfolk it is a home port for four carrier strike groups with six carriers in total four destroyer squadrons 18 arleigh burks in total and one submarine squadron, nine attack submarines. Also cruisers, six of them, Ticonderoga, and four LHGs. Now that doesn't mean they're all in port at one time. In fact, they never are. Only some of them are ever in port at one time. Also a note from combat here with so many ships, there are bound to be some entering or leaving the port at any given day. Maybe we'll have one destroyer about to transit in and one out for realism. Fine, we'll do that. And for the attackers, first, Russians. One modernized Admiral Kuznetsov class carrier with strike group and MiG 29Ks. We've got 33 here, but I've been told that only 24 are going to operate at a time, so I'm going to go for 24 MiG 29KRs. And China. She has three carriers now Type 001 Liaoning, Type 002 Shandong, and Type 003 Fujian. Super carrier, small carrier, small carrier. Capable of carrying 24 J 15s. 32 J-15s and 50 J-15s. Total 106 J-15s. And we'll talk about the problem with that as we get into more detail. And that is our research. And today's scenario. First, 
Overview. America's East Coast defense within 350 miles response range, 54 Raptors, 150 Super Hornets, 90 Strike Eagles, 142 F-16 Falcon Vipers, 54 Harriers, total 490 aircraft. That is a lot of aircraft on the East Coast. Russian. One Kuznetsov CV, six modernized Gorzhkov frigates escorting her, 24 MiG 29 KRs. China, one CV, Fujian. Why have we only brought one CV? Why not the others? Well, what I don't think combat realized is that China has only ever built 50 J 15s. It doesn't have enough J 15s to necessitate or fill its three carriers. Cruisers and destroyers, two Type 055s and four. Type 052s, and I've actually made a last minute change to that, guys, to make it an even more powerful group. I've actually changed it to four 055s and two 052Ds. So, four 055 cruisers, two 052D destroyers, total 14 ships and 74 aircraft, plus humans on either side. Are there no F 35s on the East Coast at all? Yep, it's a fair point. So I've not done the research. I'm completely in combat ineffective's hands here. So hopefully all the information he's given us is right, guys. Next, geography, guys. Why am I staring at the ocean here? It's the only map we've got. We do have land mass maps, but none of this area of America. So we don't have the map. And none that are relevant enough to use and none that are big enough to use. I want 800 miles top to bottom. And so basically this big ocean map is all I've got. I've marked out the contour of the east coast of America of the area we are interested in it may look a bit funny but it is actually accurate plus or minus 10 miles so it's near enough today and this bit is a bit more detailed around Norfolk the bases are all set out in the correct positions plus or minus 10 miles so it's all about where the bases are in relation to the attack and their reaction time so we have Atlantic City Air National Guard here 198 miles away with 36 F-15Cs Andrews here 134 miles away with 36 F-16s here Langley here 20 miles away with its Raptors Oceana 8 miles away here with its 150 Hornets Cherry Point here 140 miles away with its Aviate Beast Johnson here 143 miles away with its Strike Eagles Shore here, 313 miles away, and McIntyre here, 330 miles away with its 36 F 16s. Next, threat rings. The red rings show the 300 mile detection ranges of the American AWACSs, which I've put in at random locations. Their AWACS, their AWACS, and their AWACS. Norfolk itself is modeled here. Here are the various ships on the jetties. We've got four supercarriers in today, a whole bunch of Ali Burks, Tycos, and some more auxiliary ships. They are all inactive, obviously, because their crews are off the ships. As requested, there is one Ali Burke going in and one Ali Burke going out. They have a combat range of about 130 miles with their SM6 missiles, and that is marked out in yellow here. So for Red 4 today, danger area will be yellow, at which point you can be expected to be shot at by SM6. The attack. In my roleplay, the two carry groups have been spotted 260 miles off the coast. Is that realistic? No, obviously not. In reality, as soon as any aircraft carrier, American, Chinese, Russian, leaves port, they will be tracked by their enemies. And there's no way they could make it over the Atlantic Ocean without being spotted and tracked. But for fun, let's pretend that they could. They've got some kind of amazing device that shields them from satellites or whatever. And they've been spotted by AWACS 260 miles off the coast, which is still a quite a long way. The compositions, they have a pair of AWACSs feeding them information, which will be required. The Russian carrier group will be here, Kuznetsov, sailing 30 knots towards the coast. With her Gorzhkov class frigates, which are small but very powerful self-defense vessels with some anti-ship capability, but they will not be firing on Norfolk today because they'll be out of range and detection parameters. Aboard Kuznetsov is her air wing of 24 MiG-29 KRs with six RS-77-1 modernized adders. They will scramble and just be there to protect from any incursion or defense from America. As well as that, there will be some humans that will start behind the carrier. I'm giving them a boost today. I'm allowing them to carry the more modern RS-77Ms with better range because 
trust me, the Reds are going to need the help today. Next, the Chinese are 90 miles to the south. Fujian in the middle. She's got four Type 055 cruisers, which will actually be attack vessels, and they will be using their hypersonic anti-ship missiles to attack Norfolk today. That's where the main punch of the attack is coming from. And self-defense vessels, two 052s in the rear, anti-submarine and anti-ship. Her air wing will be 50 J-15 Bravos, basically all of them, with all the missiles that they can carry, long-range PL-15s and PL-10 for self-defense. They will take off and block the American force for as long as they can. The American composition we already know because we've talked about it, but let's just have a quick look at loadouts. All F-16s today will be loaded with, in fact, first, AI rules. All AI today are set to fire at a maximum range. The Chinese and the Russians will also be set to, once they have run out of missiles, to RTB to their carriers. This is very important. The Americans are not why? Because they've got no bases to land at. This is all simulated in the ocean. The Americans will fight to the death because I've got literally no choice. It's the only way I can code them. So there will be excessive American deaths. So just take that into your consideration. I can't make them RTB. So the Americans will just be set to fire a maximum range. Everyone is on maximum skill level today to alleviate any biases on that. The F-16s will all be equipped with six AIM-120D medium to long range missiles, a T-Pod and a whole load of fuel because I don't want them running out of fuel this time. In terms of when they take off, I have set them so that every 30 seconds a new plane will take off. Well, to be more accurate, a flight of four will take off every two minutes. That's how it's going to work. So you won't see them all jump in to begin with. They'll filter in at what I consider a realistic QRA scramble rate. What's next? The Raptors. It's stealth configuration of six AIM-120Ds and two Sidewinders for self-defense. They will have a radar cross-section of 0.0001 meter squared, which means they are fully stealth today. They can only be seen at a maximum of about 20 miles. We've already talked about the ships in play. There are only two in play that are active today. The Superbogs, of which there are a hell of a lot. 150 here today all murder spec which to be honest is pretty unrealistic and in fact most of this is unrealistic today there's no way you'd have 490 pilots in their planes ready to scramble it just doesn't happen um so we've got these super bogs but all maxed out with aim 120ds 12 of and a couple of sidewinders all ready to scramble humans today for the blue four will all be super bogs i didn't want to put them in f-22s because blue have already got so many good planes i don't want any more raptors in play put it that way so i've got my guys here next the strike eagles will have loads of aim 120ds and uh aim 9x and loads of fuel Remember, fuel consideration is one of the most interesting things about these one-to-one -one scale reenactments we do because it shows how fast an aircraft could get to battle and whether they could get there with the fuel considerations given. Fuel is actually measured very accurately in this sim. Next, the AV-8Bs. We've got AV-8B here, but I'm presuming, and I'm making a presumption here, that the real-life Marine Corps would actually use Harrier 2, which would have a fire control radar in an AMRAAM missiles. I'm making that assumption. I may have that wrong. We don't have the Harrier 2. We have the AV-8B here with no fire control radar and close range missiles only. But you know what? I'm going to put them in there and they'll do their absolute best. More F-16s. And that's it, guys. So let me summarize and just make sure I haven't missed anything. Obviously, it's taken forever to get this to work, but it is just about working. So we've got the US overview. We've got the Russian and Chinese overview, which are maxed out. That is the most planes they have and can carry, according to my sources. They've got three to an unrealistically close range, but let's just roll with it. They've got their AWACS. They've got their hypersonic missiles, which the 055s will be shooting. I, as Game Master, I want the Reds to win. I want to try and get them to win. So I've asked the 055s, four of them, which they do have in real life, to fire their hypersonic missiles at anything they want in this port. They can choose a carrier, they can choose um, a destroyer, they can choose a cruiser, whatever. Let's see what happens. We've talked about the defence. Would there be more defence in there? Would be, there be THAAD? Would there be Pack 3 Patriot? I don't know. I can't seem to find out. And it's irrelevant anyway, because even if they did, I can't put them on the ocean. So today, it's just the defence of the ships themselves. And you guys can fill me in with more information on that. We've talked about the 493 aircraft that's there. One thing I just realised I missed out is the Chinese also get respawning humans. J-15s in their air-to-air -air loadout. There, guys, which leads us to the final bit, which is predictions. Does anyone think, from what we've seen before, that Russia and China, with their best loadout in 2023, could take on Norfolk, get some missiles through before they get probably smashed by nearly 500 aircraft? No. 
It's going to be bloody. It's going to be bloody, yeah. Fourth gen tech against a bunch of raptors. It always goes one way, doesn't it, guys? China and Russia are going to need bigger boats. They don't look like the pilgrims. That's it. Viewers, you wanted it. Stand by. And welcome into the battle. Simba is being an American today in a Super Hornet Fire Dad, Super Hornet Poosh, MiG 29KR, Bird J15. Is anyone not ready to go? All right, here we go, viewers. Our next East Coast attack on Norfolk Naval Station. Right, where are we going to look first? Let's have a look at, I guess, the Chinese. Oh, missiles out already. Jeez, that was quick. Stand by. Yep, this is the main attack. The hypersonic missiles from the Type Z. Wow, look at that. 055 destroyer slash cruisers. And they are going to cover 300 and something miles in just a couple of minutes. They will max out. They will max out a mark 10. 10 times the speed of sound. Look at that, guys. Also, the J15s are taking off. Like I said, these, uh, I mean, they're pretty cool planes, but they are hopelessly out of date in the modern theatre where 5th gen are going to rule the waves. Let's have a look at the Russians. Poosh, first man up, human. Ladies and gentlemen, Poosh! Very powerful aeroplane. Let's have a look at the rest. Modernized Kuznetsov, which is actually sailing at the moment, viewers. They finally finished it, and it's uh, off again. Huge expense. 24 aircraft aboard. Gorshkov's protecting. It's going to have a look at the Americans. The first ones will be spawning. Oh, they're already in. Oh, no, they're just humans. First uh, AI spawns will be happening in 25 seconds. Uh, we've got the Americans. We've got Spire Dad and Simba. Hello, boys. Woo, woo, woo. Hello. Yep. And the first spawn of AI is about to happen. There will be a big lag as, I don't know, 30 planes just spawning, guys. That's the first sets of four taking off from each base uh, now okay f-22s taking off from langley which is looking very blue today immediately into combat look we've got the um oceana super hornets 150 of them like i said would they all be ready to fly absolutely not but let's just freaking do it shall we aviate oh we better watch the hypersonics the hypersonics are getting dangerously close they haven't been spotted yet. Uh, all detection ranges are modelled today, so the humans would only see what the AWACS is seeing and contribute to their data link. The AI as well will only see what their data links have seen, and no one's obviously seen the uh, hypersonics yet, but let's go and watch. It's about, I don't know, 15. Heading in about Mark 8 at the moment, I guess, 5,000 knots. We've changed these so that their uh, terminal velocity, when they hit their target, is less than Mark 4, as you guys requested. Uh, but I'm still not seeing anything, which is slightly... Send us Fox 3 times 2 in experiment. He's doing nothing. Still not seeing anything. They should warn us when they've seen them. Can we see the naval port? Norfolk. Hypersonic missiles spotted. Fire everything. Right, they have seen them. Have they done it in time? Yes. Wow, they really are firing everything. Look at that. Look at that, viewers. That's what a modern ship can do. Jesus. ESSM. I don't know what they are. ESSMs, SM6, SM2. A bit of everything. Are they going to get intercepted? Are they going to get through? Down to Mark 6. Good interception. Uh, too many buttons to frig impress. Wow, look at that. All intercepted with a brilliant PK. That's amazing. Would they be that good in real life? I don't know. I really don't know. First barrage of YJ21s and nothing's got through. And I should say, I have run this a few times in single player to get all the bugs worked out. And I, I, I've had these ships sunk before, so... Luck of the draw, I guess. Did your test work well, Simba? No, I, I was able to spot those with my radar, and I fired two AMRAMs at them. Yeah, you fired, you spotted the uh, hypersonics. Wow. Uh, A for effort, Simba. Right, next patch of YJ-21s from the ships. Doing their thing. YJ-21 scaring America a lot. It's very... It's very much a first generation modern hypersonic weapon, but the speeds it claims is very, very scary. Uh, right, so only front is fire, Simba. Uh, anyway, we're looking at the AI before we got rudely interrupted. We've got the AV-8Bs. Absolutely no idea why they're in today's mission, because they're going to absolutely smash. F-15E played by EX today, which is going to be near enough for today. What we're doing, loads of fuel. Up they go. Ground Sonic. Fuel is half the battle today, viewers. Half of these planes today will get to combat and then just run out of fuel, as they would in real life, uh, if they were doing a scramble situation. F-16s today, looking very handsome. We've got 
the bug fixed with the fuel tanks, so with the fuel tanks everything works now, they should get into combat with no problems at all. Why are we not doing AIM-260? Oh, there's something really important today, viewers, and I completely forgot to talk about it. I might have time, but I'm real quick. I missed today's slide. Russia is using R-77-1 here with a range of 60 nautical miles. Uh, the humans have allowed the R-77M just to help them out a bit with a range of over 100 nautical miles. The Chinese are using the PL-15 with a range of 120 nautical miles. The Americans are using the AIM-120D because the AIM-260 is not in service yet, and the aim C7 is basically completely obsolete, but America is in real life getting a new missile, as in actually getting it, a D3, an AIM-120 D3. We're going to model that in the next few weeks. It's going to upgrade the AIM-120D to D3 standard as an interim before AIM-260 comes out to match the ability of the PL-15 of 120 nautical miles. So, very soon, we're going to have a new missile in-game, an AIM-120D3, software updated and more efficient flight path, allowing around, depends who you talk to, somewhere between 110 and 120 nautical miles to match the PL-15. That will be a game-changer, viewers, so I look forward to doing that and see when we're on wings in real life. For the first missiles, actual missiles are out in real life now. Who am I going to watch? Okay, the YJ-21s. Now everyone's been spotted, the, y the YJ-21s are being taken out, but there are shots from the Vipers and response from Poosh and the R-77M in the air. No kills so far. Let's have a look at the R-77M. This PC, it's sort of in service, but also sort of not in service. It's going on some wings at the moment. Hard to claim it's fully in service at the moment. As we've got it modeled, it's a dang fine missile. AIM-120D has been struggling in our simulations at, uh, for a while. We've opened up the code and looked at it as you guys requested, and we can't actually find any problems with it, which is annoying. But like we said, we're going to supersede it with a D3 anyway. Um, if you want to learn more about the D3, just Google it, and it will tell you more than I probably know already. These shots were taken at about... 90-ish nautical miles. Raptors right at the spearhead of the Ch Chinese are firing. I must be on these Super Hornets. Chinese firing these PL-15s. Pretty damn fine. Missiles 120 mile range. Uh, superior so far than the AIM-120 D1 as America would admit. Hence the D3 coming into service. Distances. More missiles coming out. Pang from this Chinese guy. Where's my Chinese human today? There is Bird. Bird, you're looking very Chinese today. Actually, I better not say that. You're looking in a, in a very Chinese aeroplane, shall I say. Uh, kills are about to happen on this northern flank. This is Atlantic City Air National Guard. Kudos to anyone who's flying for them at the moment. First, R-77M is coming down. It's going to cause those F-16 some trouble. Like I said, it's a dang fine missile. And that's said, it's miss. Why is that? It's because of jammers. Usually because of jammers. Long shots against jammers. Very, very hard to hit. These guys have all uh, dodged as well. Let's check this guy out. Same issue. Um, be careful about firing too fast and too high today. Mark two shots at 50,000 feet tends not to track for reasons we'll never really understand. This will change uh, between F-22 and J-15 now down to 70 nautical miles. No losses on either s side yet. There's a loss. A MiG-29 went down to what? I don't know. To a thing, I imagine. F-16 up in the north. So if this is going to track. No obvious track. This guy's going nuts. Look at this guy pacing those 77-1s out. Real fast. Going to a crank of some kind. That might be a kill on an F-16. Whoa! First F-16 of the day down one on each side. But it's going to get a meteor or a Wenge. A ring. Whoa! Did you see that dodge? Hardcore. They're hard fighting those MiGs. I can attest to that in the fire swift done. Uh-oh. Things are happening. Uh, f 22 has got dangerously close. But it's probably going to take him out with this A120D here. Yep. That's a tracker. Can the J-15 beat it? J-15 not as maneuverable as MiG-29. It's notching is not as good. J-15 down. I don't think the Raptor's been fired on. It's kind of hard to tell. Death so far. Well, only two to one. So not much just in it at the moment. Another 120D tracking. Again, J-15's kinematic ability. Just not that good. It's big, heavy, multi-roll. Good reacquisition. A120D is behaving well today. That guy is going cold. Look at that guy getting chased by that PL-15. I am chasing you and stuff. Good Super Hornet dodge. Well done. Oh, he died. Thing appears to have happened. What about this guy? Lots of good missile action today. Three Americans down, four axes down, should we call them today. Oh, and a pretty much a merge up here with the fourth gen. And they've pushed the Vipers from break. Atlantic City have pushed the MiG-29s back. They can take off on their base faster than they can on the uh, Kuznetsov. And that's going to be a big thing today. And I've got plenty of gas by the looks of it. Five down on the Axis side. to Three of the Americans down. Another J-15 is going to go down. Excellent acquisition of the M120D. You never quite know what you're going to get. C 
six down and another aim on 20d chasing it's one of these two prong attacks viewers where i can only watch one attack really oh what happened there i was a kill it was a lag kill but it was a it was an official kill all right birds down here doing a flanking maneuver he's found himself uh oh he's ran into a bad he really doesn't want to run into but it's very much a bird problem still look at this fight between f-16s and mig-29s it's a classic cold war fight with modernized uh block 70 hybrid f-16s and very modern kr mig-29s oh very very nasty foes there peel 15 how did that get there peel 15 went north from the Chinese and shot an F-15-16 down. 100% a thing happening right there. Those hybrid F-16s, very good at notching as you can see. Well beaten. Ah, right, we've got the whole fight on one screen now. This frigging trooper from China. Oh no, uh, the Russian, the Russian's all the way down here, look. What is he doing in amongst those raptors? I don't know. Birds doing actually pretty well. Just shooting some guys down there. Simba's down there. Right, so nine Axis aircraft down, ten Americans down. Dang fine fight so far. Has Norfolk been here? Norfolk has not been here. I haven't been tracking the YG-21s. In fact, I think they're finished. YG-21s are finished. They only carry break eight, I think, per ship, D055. And that is the hypersonic threat dealt with. Well done. Like I said, in testing, sometimes they got through. It's almost random about what what happened so kudos to the uh, defenders today if it managed to take that many down could they do it in real life well literally no one knows a 13 no i've been saying it the wrong way around 13 axes down nine americans down so the axis are three harriers down someone's been long bombing the harriers oh it's bird bird's been long bombing the harriers it's kind of a harrier problem here comes simba in from a flanking attack 15 axes down an American went down there to something real friggin' hard to know what to watch, Viewingtons. Let's watch this. This guy, this, this Russian, hide behind this island, look. Just a little AI guy, but it's hiding behind this island continuously. That's why I survived so long. Evaded. Yep, evaded. And ACM. Possible. Uh, that's got his number. No, it's not. It's not tracked. Yep, that is 100%. Oh, it's Poosh! Poosh is doing it. Oh, laggy server, laggy. Hold up server. Come on, hold up server. I mean, there's so many planes on today. There's a dang fine chance our server is not going to be able to handle this. Fight to the end, though, guys. Fight to the end. We'll do our absolute best. I wanted to model all 500 aircraft as a proof of concept today. Pooch getting chased by <laughs> F-16s. China pacing missiles out. How many planes do we have in play? 21 axes down. 13 uh, Americans down. So it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Poosh is somehow dodging all of these missiles. His luck will run out. I mean, he's literally be hiding around this island, running away from these vipers. Um, but they will not let him last much longer. That one's coming over the mountain for him. He may have even evaded that. I don't know. That one's got to get him. Two billions worth of losses on the Axis side. Come on, Poosh, your goose is cooked, sir. There he is, look. Oh, oh, he's down. You wasted a lot of Americans' time and money, though. Right, what's going on here? Obviously, very hard to keep up with what's going on now. Smash! Down. 23 axes down to 11 Americans down. What Americans have been going down? F-16s, AV-8Bs, a Strike Eagle, and a couple of Super Bogs. Pretty much impossible to track the kills. Bird's doing a thing. You see that, viewers? That's a thing. Yeah? It's going to be human on human contact very soon. You know what? Oh, I mean, this disc guy gets here. Which he very much will. And he's looking very, very angry and very 5th gen. Let's have a look at this. Tracking, there's another J-15 down. Great reacquisition from the A120D today. 25 axis down. 26 axis down. 11 Americans down. Why are they doing so much better? It's, they can take off faster. They've got more bases. They can come from different angles. And they've got the mighty 5th gen fighters. Huh. Um, he's gone into, uh, who, Captain Kirk mode. What was his name? What's Captain Kirk called, guys? Real name. Shatner. William Shatner mode. I am William Shadna. Basically, I'm saying the server's getting laggy and about to die, but it's done well, though. Look how far it's got, viewers. So 16 minutes in, probably 300 aircraft airborne. Basically, the whole, the whole of American East Coast. Well, let's see it until the server completely goes. The missiles are still sort of going, guys. Like a blue horde coming in. Mm -hmm. I knew, I knew there was going to be no stopping this. They're just about stopping now. We've probably got two more minutes before the server completely goes, guys. My apologies. I think the writing was always on the wall. Another guy down. 29 axes down. We're now on Sidewinder PL10 combat. 
Not frozen yet, guys. It was server doing its thing. Look at that guy. He's flying very strange. Oh, um, I think that goes to Ah, that's a shame. Pretty much everyone's frozen now, guys. Oh, well, I'm going to wait until the various missiles finish end up doing a thing. We pushed you too far, Viewingtons. But to be honest, the problem is, view is at this point, the attack's pretty much over anyway. The way J21s didn't make it through on this occasion, and even when they did, I only managed to get one, get through the barrel, get through the defences. I could have done anti-ship J15s, but the problem is, they need to get within a couple of hundred miles. The range, the best missile they've got is 200 mile range, the YJ12. They need to get within kind of that distance there. And as you can see, they're being swarmed by F-22s. They wouldn't have got that far. You won't believe how hard I found this to give Red Fort a chance when designing its mission. It's just too hard. Why is that? Well, because it's a bloody stupid idea attacking the American East Coast. I mean, look, it's impossible to do. We're still getting a couple of updates from the server, so you might as well carry on for a little bit, guys. Loads of HQ-9s out, defensive missiles, range about 140-ish miles. 34. Got a Raptor. Wowee! Well done, Poosh. Fair play. Raptor, uh, uh, Raptor, William Shatner Raptor still. It's a Raptor kill, guys. Hey, Cap. You know what I would like to see? No, I would love to hear your opinion, though, Simba. I would like to see our viewers like, subscribe, comment down in the comment section below on how they think we're doing. Maybe even go check us out on Rumble, Odyssey, or check out your Patreon. That's wonderful news. I'm going to have to record that at some point, viewers, as a WAV and just play it constantly until you all submit to our wills. Technically, still going. I'm still seeing Red Fall being blown up, guys. I mean, it's not going to go for much longer. 36 axes down, 17 Americans down. Two of them were Raptors. Fair play, Red Fall, for killing a friggin' Raptor. Steel kills going down, 17 Americans down. Birds merging with F-22 Raptors, but he doesn't care. He's freaking bird. Lots of Another sounds going down. on. Wowee. Look, that Raptor's still going. Look, that Raptor's still going. Come on, server. What was that flight model? It's flying differently to usual. F-16s are leaving. Are leaving? They're out of fuel. Oh. Yeah, F-16s are great, but they don't carry F-15 fuel loads. They're turning around and going home, guys. Uh, I know we can't see a lot happening here, with viewers, but it is actually being modelled in the background on the server. We're just not getting it. It hasn't got enough time to give us the update. 42 Axis aircraft down, 20 exactly, 2 to 1, just as we saw at the beginning. Even if America only had half 50% ready, we could run it again with only 50% of the planes ready. It would still be exactly the same result, I can guarantee it. ACM from Bird. Really weird ACM. Kind of William Shatner ACM. 43 axis down. Exactly 22 MiGs and 22 J-15s. Huh. I wish I had a cull button. If I had a cull button viewers in here where I could just cull 100 planes to speed it up, I would love to do that. But no cull button exists, I'm afraid. Peel 15 is still being fired. I mean, weirdly, don't get me wrong. I've seen more normal Peel 15 being fired, but they're being fired in the server's not frozen yet. Well, very much let us know when it's been frozen. Aim 120D is coming out from these very, very slow moving F 16s. Very slow. A bit of a strange fight, have you? Oh, poor bird. A bird! F couldn't overtake. Me. The F-15. The F-15, was it? They kept on, yeah. The, the, the map just shows them, and then they move 500 right? miles they away. They do, literally. The F Raptors have just been updated, and now 60 miles away from the carrier. Okay, all MiGs are down. No, there's two more MiGs in existence. Again, um, there is a missile I could have given the MiGs, an anti-shipping missile, viewers. Uh, oh, no, there isn't. They were never fitted for the MiG-29, so I don't actually have that. I mean, in fact, I could have given the KH-35s. I think they can carry KH-35s in real life. KH-35s have a range of like 150 miles. They would have to get there to fire it, which is never going to happen. So anti-ship missiles from the planes was just not possible to say. There is just too much defense on the East Coast. What we need to do is friggin' nerf the hell out of America so we can kill it with something. 47 uh, axes down, one more official MiG left, 27 Americans down, including four Raptors. So fair play. They're obviously flying a bit funny today, which I'm not surprised because they're in friggin' Shatner mode, so. 360 SAMs fired by Red 4, 126 beyond visual range missiles, 32 YJ-21s. America has fired 283 AMRAMs, 7 Sidewinders, and only 27 SAMs, right? Money, which has all been logged so far, 4 billion of Axis, 3 billion of US. 51 and all official MiG-29s are now down. It's still not fully frozen, guys. I'm still watching some planes moving, which means server hasn't fully packed up yet. Yeah, it, I see missiles moving. Yeah, which yeah means I see it, missiles. Which means the server is going and still being modelled in the background. It's just you're not getting the updates from the server. It's like, I haven't got time to give you updates, Simbra, so I'm not going to give you anything. Same with me. But it is still being modelled in the background, which is interesting. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I would prefer to see it, viewers. I wonder if that's why the F-22s are crashing. They're on a downward motion and the server just throws them into possibly. the water by mistake. Yeah. Who knows? They're flying very abnormally. 400 SAMs nearly fired by the Axis. 29 J-50s down. 25 MiGs down. Even these are going out. These are break... Uh, what are they called, guys? S-350. Uh, Russia's S-350 missile. 36 F-16s okay. down. A lot, a lot of Americans going down now. Why? Maybe like Bird said, maybe they're flying backwards into the water. How do I know? That guy's 111,000 feet. Uh, the J-15's at 120. Yeah, there you go. The uh, F-16's going after our AWAC. Well, they're not dead. No AWAC has been shot down. If they weren't bug lagged out, they, they would have shot it down by now. I can tell you, you can tell where they are, viewers, because you can see where the SAMs are going. Jeez, look at that guy. 133,000, 130, 140,000. I know Sam getting up there. All right, viewers, I think we've pushed it as far as we dare. You wanted the East Coast fully modeled, and I gave you the East Coast fully modeled. Can a server handle it? No, and we never thought it would handle it. But we, what we did get is half an hour or nearly 20 minutes of play before it completely packed up, which gave us enough to show us our concept of what could the Chinese, what could the Russians do, firing their best weapons at their best range, as we've got it modeled, could not get through on this occasion. And even when they could get through in my testing, they could only get one or two missiles through. And the air wings are just hopelessly... Uh, just, you just haven't got enough planes. You've got 70 odd planes there. Even if they were carrying uh, anti-ship missiles, which I did try modeling, they can't get into range of firing them at Norfolk. You just, by the time you get anywhere near it, Raptors are on top of you and just smashing you down with sidewinders. There's nothing else I can do uh, to get Axis missiles on there. Let me know if you think I've missed anything, viewers. Um, humans, my apologies for freezing the server up for you, but I think we all knew it was going to happen with 500 uh, Americans on the screen at once. Uh, we're running single core, by the way, viewers. Multi core doesn't work for us. Our missiles annoying, but it is what it is. Anything useful you might have picked up along the way? The R-77 seemed to work fine on the jammers. All the missiles behave well. The PL-15s behave great. The R-77s behave great. The A-120Ds, which have been over the last few weeks, troublesome, to say the least. Been functioning perfectly today, including reacquisition, which is rare for them. So there's so much that happens in the core of this game, viewers, that it's hard to know why. The thing is, there's AWACS. Which way is the AWACS traveling? How are the AWACS communicating to each other? How are the AWACS communicating to the missile and so on? Just like it is in real life, it's incredibly complicated to understand exactly what's going on, which is why, really, we don't have full control of these things. We put the inputs in, we tell the sim what we want, and the sim does what it wants, basically. So it's a very hard thing to master, as I'm sure anyone who's into DCS mod making understands. So that's it, viewers. I don't really want to do any more of these big attacks like this. And you can see why. The tech isn't there yet to support these large-scale battles. So hence, I think we should still keep going on relatively small battles, sub-150 units on the screen at once. Otherwise, you're just going to start getting a bunch of videos like this. But as proof of concept, I think that's as best we can do, guys. But tomorrow, we'll be back to more uh, normal stuff. Otherwise, viewers, I hope you kind of enjoyed that and we'll see you later.